What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my bud and Mike. <laughs> what's going on? Stop messing with your dang microphone. Bro. My bad. Uh, what's up, man? Another episode of Fear the Walking Dead. That's what's up. Season 3, episode 13, yes. titled This Land is it's Your, your land. land. All right, so uh, I want to start this off by saying... Like what the hell, man? Why, why are they just like Uh-oh. Alicia? Alicia, like they just they don't she what she doesn't know everything. Like they're like Alicia, there's no air in here. There's no and she's like, oh, let me check this out. What puts her hand up to the thing? Oh, you're right, there is no air. I'm like, man, come so on. So we're going right into the shit. Well, I mean, look, <laughs> there really isn't not a lot happened in this. I mean, yes, a lot happened, but I don't know, man. I, I'm uh, you know what? How about this? Let me yeah. let me take a step back. Let me rewind a bit. Yeah. I actually like this episode, and in the I didn't like it in the beginning. I was in the beginning. I'm like, ugh, ugh. and then slowly, I was yeah. like, oh, you know what, man? Like, I saw the merit in it, I, and it turned into a real good zombie episode. And I was like, at the end, I'll say it up the top now. At the end, I was like, this is what they should be doing. These are the situations that should be in this show. It's called Fear the Walking Dead. And there's a reason. This episode, to me, this situation they were put in is the epitome of why you should fear The Walking Dead. So, I don't know. What'd you think about the whole episode as a whole, man? You know, uh, you know, by, uh, you know, from what I said, what I said last, uh, from the last episode, I think that I was hoping that this episode was going to be um, the, the jam packed episode, the episode that, um, uh, you know, would probably be my favorite of the season, you know, so far. Um, was it? Um, it was probably the best episode of the season, but um, I, there were some things that I just couldn't look past that uh, kind of drove me nuts a little bit. Like what? But well, let me give you the the few good things that I that I enjoyed. I mean, I did like a lot of the zombie. I liked how um, after after we lost um, a lot of the people in the in the bunker from the air, we started seeing people from the back raising up, and I just liked those certain shots of just the walkers, and um, I I kind of enjoyed how Nick kind of spoke to Troy, especially Loved, in the, I was, that's in my notes too, man. I yeah, enjoyed that too in the in the opening scene how he was like, listen, because Troy's crying over his brother, trying to bury his brother or whatever and he's saying um the good don't survive or something like that yeah. uh and nick was like hey dude it wasn't because he was a good person and he died it was just stupid ass and yeah like you did all they, this and they brought it and nick also brought up about the people that were trapped uh in the bunker he says listen if we can't get these people out it's not because they didn't die because they're good people they died because we failed right. and i thought that was cool he kind of he's kind of like like treating nick as like that little brother i mean uh, troy as like yeah. that little brother so I thought that was good. Um, well, you I know, also um, before you jump off of that, yeah. let's just talk about it. Nick, yeah. he he lies for Troy at the end. Yeah, he's right? done that. He's done that like he because you know, he like because he sees a part of himself in Troy, but he realizes now that he's he's the yeah. more sane of the two. But yeah. he still can't. I don't think he likes the idea of Troy just being put down and, and, and whatever. Like So, yeah, so Nick still sees a, p- a part of himself in Troy. I think that's one of the only reasons why he keeps not only keeps him alive but defends him. So I just yeah. wanted to get that out because that was one of my notes that he, yeah. you know, he's lying for him. He's keeping him close still. Plus, I, you know, if you're not going to kill him, you got to keep him close, and I think that's what he's doing. Obviously, Madison was like, take Troy with you because, well, hell, we don't want him. You know. Well, I think she, like she said, she's, she's worried about what um, Walker may – may do or how you know what i mean Uh, listen um i thought the acting was wasn't so bad and especially from alicia i thought the story that she spoke to uh i forgot the woman's name the woman that she was talking to i don't remember now um let's call it barbara uh, barbara (laughs) all the ones barbara right that that die um yeah so anyway alicia's story about how she was in camp and and she was supposed to sing this land is your land and she went up there she froze and uh nick comes to the rescue and tries to save her and uh, from from uh, being embarrassed and forgets the words himself. I thought that was um, a, like a cool little story and how mm-hmm. the woman says, oh, you know, were you guys close? Are you guys, you know, close? And she says, well, we used to be when we were kids and all this kind of kind of stuff. I thought that was cool. I thought it was it was interesting how she's how she stuck up um, for herself against Madison in the end. Um, 
you know, how, you know, when Alicia wants to leave and, and she says, um, you know, your way doesn't work. Um, Madison comes back saying, listen, um, we, we have to be together. Uh, it's better than being alone. And, and yeah, but see, but that's, but again, that's, that whole thing bothers me that, you, okay. So you have, I enjoyed this episode. I did. Like I said, yeah. it grew, it grew on me. It turned into a good episode for me, but then the ending, they see, they can't help themselves. You go ahead and you have this thing where it's like, I'm going to leave. Yeah. I'm going to be on my own. I know of a place, you know, because she finds out that Jake died, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And Madison's like, well, no, you can't. And she's like, you can't stop. And I'm like, okay, stop. Because Madison, you're so quick. You're so damn quick to fight for someone else. Oh, you see Strand getting beat up by some guys. Uh, you see this person, right? Oh, oh, you're so quick to fight for someone else. Let's go. But you let your own kids just like leave? I know. Now, now, dude, I'm telling you, like, if, if if she was like, I'm leaving on this and that, and she was like, smack, mm -hmm. no, you're not, get your ass in the truck. Like, that, I would have been like, that is more realistic. That, that I don't is know. You know what? I, I think she knows. She Listen, like you said, these are kids. I think she knows what they're made of. But and, it's like. Uh, and listen, dude, remember, Nick Nick left. Nick wandered off. I know, Nick but it's like how. different place than when, you know, Alicia leaving and where she, or her head is at. It's just but because they, they need them to separate, Mike. That's why they're doing yeah, it. Yeah, it's just more, but, you know, it's more drama. Um, but like, but it's like, like oh, you know, man, it's just, like, listen, just like to see a, like a good decision for once. Like how many bad decisions are you going to have to make before, yeah. you know, just to push the show along? Like who just, just, well, I, I tell you, man, the best, one of the most realistic things I ever seen from this show, actually in mm -hmm. any show, which is really great. And it was back when my wife was watching it with me in the first season when, when Madison finds out Nick was still using, she beats the shit out of him. Yeah. Like that was like, to me, the most realistic thing. Because that's what would happen. Your mom would snap and, and just smack the shit out of you yeah. and yell at you and grab your shirt and throw you on the floor. And that was one of the, and it was in this show that I saw that. I was like, wow, if this show maintains that, which they didn't, you know what yeah. I mean? Anyway, I digress. Right. So whatever. The, the decision was made. She leaves, you know? And of course, like you said, they send, they, she sends Nick and Troy after her, you know? But I don't know, man, you know? So I want. Go ahead. I don't want to cut you off, man, because I have more things. No, no. But. You know. Um, listen. The now I'm excited to see where we're gonna go. Um, I don't want to just keep bashing this. Like I said earlier, this is probably one of my probably the favorite of of the so season far the so favorite. far. Yeah. It's still not blow me off my fucking feet. But um, before I forget. How? What did you think when Troy and Nick devised this plan, right, to get the people out of the bunker and you know cause a decoy or whatever? So they shoot the grenade, mm -hmm. which I'm assuming they only had like the one left or something because Probably. wouldn't you wouldn't you put it a you know shoot it away and drag them away from the ranch instead yeah. of firing it right into the middle of the the camp of the ranch and then driving and then directly proceed to just the same drive right? spot like, like so I'm like it doesn't matter if if I threw if I threw a grenade oh yeah my phone's going off if I threw a grenade <laughs> that's it it's perfect right yeah. So I'm throwing this grenade in the middle of, of, of this camp. The explosion goes off. All the walkers are, are, are start, headed for Start turning that. around. So now, I'm, but I'm going right into it. So what are they, what is your truck suddenly invisible or, or the walkers aren't going to hear your truck roaring through. And you know, I, that, that kind of drove me nuts. Well, that's the whole point. It's like, first of all, I was like, first of all, why aren't you wearing your seatbelts? Like you're literally gonna get like doing all that stuff. They could have like crashed through the windshield. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad they actually sort of really ramming some of them because so many times in I mean, these, yeah, they know you they don't, don't. You do don't that. ever see them just just pile in and, and jam and jam. But this in. is but this is this is the point. You yeah. really couldn't write something better. So you have half the episode where you have this really sick, sick like situation. Sorry about my dog. That's all right. <laughs> You know, your dog really wants to get on the conversation again. Yeah, I think so. But like the really sick situation in the bunker, and then you go ahead and you just have these two idiots, and what do they do? They drive directly to the helicopter, which is literally dead in the water, out in the middle of nowhere. What I, did you think you were doing? Like, they, what the hell was? I'm the, like, either they said we have to get to the fuel thing. Someone knows how to fly, 
or they i thought because both sides were open it looked like both sides were open of the helicopter so i thought they were going to use it just to jump through and and proceed um no, and they get stuck. It. I mean, so, okay, I, they get obviously they get breaks the window. How are you gonna? The walkers are gonna break the window of a fucking helicopter? Apparently, I think it was already broken. He just kind of like continued uh, to break it know. down. But I mean, I the point know. is, is again, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, we got to get to the fuel dump. So you drive to the helicopter? Yeah. That, that's what you did. Like um, anyway, look, odd. man, it was look, odd, dude. It, it, it was. It was. It was a dumb it move. Again, yeah. you just put. You're putting dumb situations. I, I want to go. I want to talk about uh, the the bunker though, because like I said, yeah. it started out being like, uh, "What? The, uh, come on, you're leaving her in charge." This and that, right? Um, the one guy got bit. Then it comes out that okay, why don't we just basically kill all the ones that are infected? Okay. Then it got a little serious. The guy comes down. He lays down. They give him the morphine. It kills him. And he and then she's got to do it. And then she flips out. Now yeah. it starts to get good for me. Now I'm sitting here going, all right, I get it now. Like, that's pretty sick. And then later on, yeah. it's just the two of them doing this over and over. And, and, I was, and I'm thinking to, my, excuse me, thinking to myself, are they, are they just going to pile them up in that room? Sure enough, they did. And I'm like, yeah. holy crap, that's, that was sick. And she's basically like, I can't even do this anymore. Then on top of that, like you said, and then she's talking to – uh, Barbara, we're calling it a Barbara. Yeah. I forget her name. Um, and I actually thought that she was infected too, because she stood up at one point. Oh no, she told the one woman. I thought she was. I thought she was infected. So I was like, she's gonna be talking to her, and she's gonna, and they're all gonna pass out, and then she's gonna wake up and be that. But obviously she wasn't. But so my, my whole point is, is that these, like that was like you said. So she tells that story, and it's cool. And I'm sitting here, and 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 she's like looking out across these bodies that are all passed out. And I'm thinking to myself, how cool would it be if they all started to turn? And yeah. then they do start to turn. So twice in this episode now, I was sitting here going, oh, are they going to do this? And they did. And I like that. When I when I come up with something and then yeah. it happens because I think it'd be cool and they do it, I like that. So, so no, I, I agree. I So then <laughs> to me, this the whole situation, I'm thinking like, damn, you know what? This is actually a good zombie piece right here. Like this is what fear the walking dead is like i said at the top of the show this is what i want to see this is these are the situations i think we need to see more of because mm -hmm. you need to put these 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 intimate little scenes look the big zombie scenes are cool when everyone's involved but like these little ones are where it really gets crazy where it gets yeah. really scary and i'm not talking about these jump scare ones like the uh you know the, the passages or whatever that little web series that yeah. nominated web series is like those are just little jump scares. Like those are not. That's not. What I'm, I'm talking about that built up fear, you know. Now, was it nice and convenient that it was just Alicia, the only one left? Yes. That's what I couldn't stand. That's okay. what I was gonna say. I look past it though because they made her out to be. This, but like, really, but you're the only time, one. Several times she woke up, passed out, woke up, passed out, and everybody else just. You know, nobody had a stake. Nobody, nobody had the wherewithal or the strength or the presence. No, to, to not wake even up. one other person. You know what was funny? Um, there was there was several kids, and I would just love to see a little kid Walker. Why didn't, didn't they didn't exactly kid. the one laying on top of the box? Why did not make him a zombie? Like, what are you doing? Right. Anyway, I, know, she, uh, <laughs> I know she was Alicia. Alicia was pretty badass though. The way, but she that's was, my point. I I, I actually know? I actually did it as much as I I give them guff about making her this little action heroin i yeah. i did kind of like it she got in she knows how to use the gun yeah. she did the gun uh she she gets out and then and then we know madison and and you know do you saw nick do this gangster side shot with the gun he just oh oh i don't remember yeah he was yeah when yeah. obviously nick shows up and he he points the gun he points it sideways instead of like regular and you see in it and like he shoots a walker out <laughs> down a little bit um but um Hey man, that's that's some that is some way to call the the extra cast, huh? Just I guess so. kill them all inside of a bunker, and then oh, let's talk about Ophelia and yeah. um, uh, what's his Fucking name? Crazy dog. Crazy, yeah. All right. Crazy. So yeah. he's got some claustrophobia. We got this tiny little backstory about he couldn't save the the kid or his mom. I don't remember. I don't know. Um, and then they're in the they're in the shaft, and he's like Ophelia, and he passes out just as like that whole thing. What I what I really wanted to see was that body split in half and then the half of the body attacking her. 
That would have been sweet. And the blood coming down, like, I was like, that's what I wanted to see. And it didn't happen. Yeah. And I'm like, that's dumb that he made it completely whole through the thing. Yeah. You know. Oh, and also, I found the convenient, going back for a second, how Alicia gets attacked. She wakes up. She sees the one woman eating. It turns around and attacks her. It's, like, really fast all of a sudden. Yeah. And now she can, like, wait for like fight it off i know she I know. They made her they she made has her, all the energy and... i mean adrenaline i get it it's adrenaline yeah, yeah so obviously I'll, I'll, I'll give that but then it's nice and convenient when when it falls and she's able to shoot it in the head and it just falls on her meanwhile they're all waking up and now there's a dead one on her so of course they're not going to go over to her so okay nice and convenient wasn't it I, I did like that. Like I said earlier, I did like how we saw some of the bodies rising from the background and everything like that. Um, you know, listen, in the end, we all we, we kind of predicted um, how this was going to end. And Madison was going to swoop in somehow and 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 rescue them. And um, let's let's see, you know, let's let's uh, see what happens when um, Ophelia and, and, and Salazar meet up, um, you know, next next episode. Uh, we're assuming this. But- I will tell you this. Uh, so I watched the coming attractions, and okay, and didn't it doesn't look it it's it looks like it's gone back to the whole. Apparently, Nick gets back with her, Alicia, and then I watched that little special clip that they show. Yeah, um, which could be interesting. She's on her own, and, and she's going to spoiler if you're read if you're just don't just fast forward for like thirty seconds if you want. The, the, you know, the, the shot is is of her seeing a car full of supplies, and she's going to reach in. Some other woman says, "You better get your hands off my shit." You oh know? really? Yeah, and then it, and then that the little scene cut. So, okay. um, it looks like there's some other people that Alicia's gonna meet. Uh, they're heading their way to the bazaar. Then on, you know, I don't know if they're gonna make it to the to the dam. It didn't look like I don't know if they did. It look like they went to the dam. I don't know, but I don't know, man. I don't know what it looks like. I I just want more zombie stuff. Just just yeah. just make it zombie stuff. Um. Anyway, uh, oh, you know what? I, there is one last thing that I want to talk about, right? Because we're, we're yeah. done, right? We're, we're basically yeah. Done. I mean, there's I'm right. looking over it now. I'm not really. All right, you know, I did want to mention this though. So, <laughs> so the fact that the series is broader than The Walking Dead enables them to be able to talk about things like the like the World Trade Center and things like that. So this, so yeah. Barbara, she's talking about how her first husband died in the World Trade Center, and she re, and she marries a first responder from there and stuff. That's really like. Other than like the videos that we saw Otto making and some other like stuff here and there about uh, previous before, yeah, we don't really get an idea of the world. Like this, this could have been in a universe that that didn't happen, but that's not what they did. Yeah. Now the reason I mention it like that is because it shows it illustrates to us how closed off the original Walking Dead is, meaning we don't know about any of that stuff. Yes, we find out about people's past but that's on an individual basis we don't know about the world at large very very much in the end of season one we got a little bit like oh yeah well this 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 and that but like i don't know it it just it just hit me like oh damn like yeah like this this is in that this is post 9 11 yeah this is you know post i mean this would have been essentially because it's been on for seven eight years the original it's 2017 so yeah i mean that it would have been was... like 2010 i think that's when they that's when a lot of that's where it like started the apocalypse started in, in 2010. 2010 right so obviously yeah. it'd be nine ten years after that would have happened so yeah man that's i don't know yeah. i just i just enjoyed that because that's making it broader and it and and yeah. it kind of made me a little bit hopeful for like maybe there'll be more and you know so we got a comment in the in in our last episode uh, we got a comment, I believe it was by, by Kid Slap. So shout out to you, buddy. Um, but they were like, you know, we're watching the viewership go down and down and down from like 10 million to the season one premiere to 6 million to 2 million this season. And it's like dropping nearly by half every season. Do you think, yeah. like, do you think they're going to cancel it? And I mean, honestly, I don't, I, I don't, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's hard to say because they, on one hand, they could if it's not making the ratings. However, the the Walking Dead juggernaut is, it's really just ramping up. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, all right, look, were, did, were there, was there a drop off on the original show? I think there was last season, but I, yeah. but I don't, th- but I still think it's strong. It's still their cash cow. <sighs> I think if anything, if this does get canceled, fear gets canceled. 
they'll uh, they're gonna finale it. You know what I mean? Like it'll they'll they'll finish. Oh yeah, it. they want to just they'll, they they'll just, just end it. Yeah, they wouldn't just do yeah. that. Yeah, um, in a, in a it would be interesting to to see how they would do that if if suddenly they you know, um, they uh they had they they know the show's gonna to cancel because there's never a happy ending and they're never gonna give us a cure or something on this show. They end it like they did in Terminator Two because well, or Terminator One. They do like they did in Terminator One. Just her well, driving down the you know way. And I say yeah, it would have to be something like that. Um. Maybe them getting to some kind of place that looks super, super fortified. I don't know, but I know for a fact they are um, they are uh, going to be shooting a season four, right? So we know that we at least have one more season, and or I guess at least at least half a season. Uh, uh, I guess. I mean, technically, yes. No one knows for sure, but. Um, yeah, let's see where it goes. Um, I, I saw that comment also, and uh it, it's it's tough it's tough maybe they should maybe they should end it so they can put a little bit more time into into the walking dead i don't well, know i don't think that's... that i look they're two different they're two different productions so i, I don't, I don't think I, that, it would it would, would, it would build a fire from underneath the i'd love to see i'd love to see to tell them like whoa we can't have this happen to walking dead what uh, about a legit anthology i know we have these web series and mm-hmm. these little things passages happening in between and stuff yeah I don't know, man. I'm not interested. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm not interested in those little things. But yet, I'm saying to you, let's manage, maybe make an anthology of actual. You know what I mean? Yeah, places and different. Go from different parts of the world or different, total different casts. So some maybe a season at a time. Or you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Anyway, but they probably should have done that from the begin with. Yeah, you know they could have made. They yeah, could have split this. That. Like even if they split this between groups, like make this yeah. like Fear the Walking Dead. We thought it was gonna be, we thought it was gonna be like an anthology. Remember, we thought it was gonna be like, oh, I bet you they're gonna. It sounds like it's gonna be like expanded. Instead, we're stuck with this one group of people. And yeah. I don't know if that was the original plan, but yeah, I think I think Fear the Walking Dead should should get away from the Clarks and the Nation now and get and just go to just other groups and we'll do that anyway. Whatever. So <laughs> let's just end it. We're done. That's it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, man? Where can people reach us? Give, do do the spiel, man. Do the end. Do the whole spiel. Well, of course, you guys can reach us at Third Person Pod on YouTube. It was a death write, factory. <laughs> write your comments below. Um, obviously, we've been getting some good ones, and and believe me, it's not Chris mm-hmm. Chris and I's um, idea just to bash this show. So if you guys totally disagree with us, if you guys enjoy the show, tell us mm-hmm. why you enjoy it. Don't just you know we don't want to turn people off that actually. I mean, enjoy you're the wrong. Show. To watch but it's fine, show. but you're wrong, yeah. but it's still fine. No, I'm kidding. Let's I'm not kidding. turn the people away that actually enjoy it. But just no, let us know. I know. Know. I know. It's let like, us know what man, what yeah. what you guys what I'm you guys kidding. like about this and, and let us know what uh, you know what you theorize for the next couple episodes uh, for the finale. But of course, like I said, third person pod on YouTube, on Facebook, and on Instagram. And don't forget uh, to check us out on, on iTunes as well. Yep, uh, I haven't mentioned it in a, in a few episodes here, but uh, if you're into comics uh, and you want to join an ever-growing, you know, community of uh, comic, uh, yep. whatever's, uh, you can go to comicblitz.com, and uh, it is a subscri- subscription based, but you can get a discount, a discounted offer using our uh, promo code Third Person Pod. You can yes. get your first three months of your subscription for only three dollars. Three dollars. A dollar a month. First three months, you, you can get the unlimited subscription. Uh, sign up for that particular one because they have ones where it's like seven issues or ten issues and then unlimited. You get stuff unlimited for three dollars for the first three months. Three months. Get in there, get to reading some things. They've been adding more and more and more and more and more uh, from some of your favorite publishers. So go in and check that out. Also, uh, if you could check out RetroSquat.com, that is uh, another podcast that I do. Uh, we just hit. We're, uh, this week we're actually hitting 30 uh, episodes which is pretty cool so we've been doing this wow. for 30 weeks it's pretty fun Mike is actually going to be on one yes, very yes. soon uh, this month he's going to be on one we're going to be having a Halloween episode coming out we're going to put it on Halloween uh, it's going to be a special episode for that go check it out it's cool we talk about 80s and 90s properties and we take it. We take two random ones and we mash them together so like two 
random movies from the 80s or 90s and we mash them together and see if we can come up with anything better uh <laughs> it's fun it's a really fun podcast we enjoy doing yes, it it's really I'm cool excited. so retrosquat.com or if you want to watch this we started putting up videos too if you want to put a uh, if you want to check it out here on youtube if you're not you know some you don't really listen to podcasts per se check it out on youtube just type in retro squat uh one word in youtube and you can find us because right now the channel name is like you know channel l b q d x all that stuff so uh down in the description you can actually click on the link in the description too for that anyway that's it thanks so much guys thanks for listening to all Breathe. that Pre- appreciate <laughs> it um you know we really do appreciate everyone's comments thank you so much for watching it uh everyone's liking that badlands theories video um yeah, i'm psyched yeah. i'm psyched to have that come back too so um you know let's uh let's let's just keep enjoying this stuff and hopefully this ends this ends in a decent way and uh thanks guys we love you we'll see you on the next episode peace out peace